Hi kids, hello. Welcome once again to your favorite Yellow Classes General Knowledge with Medha Ma'am. All right, so my first and foremost question. How are you all? How is it going? How's life? Life is good, boring or dull? Come on everyone, say a thumbs up or okay, okay or dull. Okay, good. I'm getting a thumbs up. All right. My life is also, you know why? Because I have to bring so much information for you kids that I'm always on my toes searching for new things. What should I teach my kids? What should I teach my kids? You know? Yes, because as I always say, knowledge is everywhere. So I have to keep extracting things. What should I get new for my kids? Yes, I do. I do get new stuff for you guys all the time. Yes, brilliant. Okay, and just like all the times today as well, we are going to talk about something very, very fascinating, very, very interesting. And I'm sure it is something of great interest for all of you. Yes, all right. So before I talk about the main topic, I want to ask you all, where do we all live? Very simple question. Where do we all live? Okay, you can send me your answers. Come on. Okay, okay, we live in our home. That's fine. More than that, where are our homes? Where are our homes? There's something called this ground. Where do we all live? Okay, let me expand. Our home is in a place, right? The place is in some state. State is in some country. Country is in some um, continent. Where is the continent? What is that thing called? Yes, very good. I got some answers. We live on Earth. Yes, kids, we live on Earth. Now, what is Earth? Earth is a planet. Yes, kids, Earth is a planet planet and just like earth there are many more planets yes but earth is the only planet where there are lives humans live on earth okay so all these planets together form something that we are going to study in our today's class okay and that is called a solar system what do we call it solar system everyone repeat once again after me we call it a solar system okay so before i talk in detail about what is the solar system what is there in it let us have a look at what it looks like do you all want to have a look yes okay see this one Ooh, okay. What are we seeing here? Ooh, kids, first of all, does this look gorgeous? Does this look absolutely amazing to each one of you? Yes, this kids is our solar system. Now, this is the way the entire universe works, okay? We sitting in our houses, we cannot imagine what is going on up in the sky right we can only see the blue sky we cannot see more than that but this is what the entire solar system looks like okay now let me first introduce you to the main contender of the solar system and that is this yellow ball in the center can you all see this yellow ball in the center yes what is it very good this is the sun okay kids this is the sun now Sun is the center of the solar system, okay? Oh, now, as we see, kids, all these planets, can you see these small balls? Something like this one is Earth, there's Venus, there's Mercury, there's Mars. These little balls, these are called planets, okay? And all these planets, they revolve around the sun. They revolve around the sun. Revolve means when you are going around an object, okay? So these all planets, they revolve around the sun. 
So sun is the center. Can we all see? Sun is right in the center. Yes. And all these planets, they revolve around the sun on these. Can you see these white, white circles around the sun? Can we all see these white circles? Yes. These are called orbits. Okay. What are they called? Orbits. Very, very good. Okay. So the planets, they revolve around the sun on their orbits. Okay. So now we, we have seen what all does the solar system looks like. Okay. It's a huge collection of a lot of planets. Okay. Then, uh, you know, different uh, satellites, orbits, sun. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now the first and foremost, we know about the sun. Now, let us understand first how many planets do we have in the solar system? Now, everyone, raise your hands with count fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, kids, there are eight planets in the solar system. Okay. Now, there might be a confusion. People might say, no, 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 no. There are not eight planets. There are nine planets. So you will have to say, no, there are eight planets now. There used to be nine planets, but now the ninth planet has become dwarf. It has gone. Yes, ninth planet has gone. It is, it is finished. It's disappeared. So there is no ninth planet. There are only eight planets. Okay. Now everyone repeat the names after me. Okay. We can see the screen again and see the location of the planets. Let me place it here for you. Okay. Now see to the near to the sun. The first one is Mercury. The first planet is Mercury. Okay. Now the second one is Venus. Can we all see Venus? Can we all see Venus, everyone? Yes. So this second one is Venus. The third is our planet, Earth. So Mercury, Venus, Earth. Okay. Then can you see this red color planet? This is called Mars. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And now comes here. This is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet. Okay. Jupiter. And then comes, then comes, let's, let's revise once again. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. And then comes right here in the corner. Can you see? Saturn. Saturn. Okay. After Saturn comes Uranus. This is Uranus. And the eighth planet is up here called Neptune. What is it called? Neptune. Okay, very good. So everyone repeat the name of the planets for me. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Very good. Very good. Okay. So these are the eight planets that we are seeing and they revolve around the sun. Okay. Now we will understand each and every planet in greater detail. Okay, kids. So first let us meet our friend called Mercury. I have a very beautiful picture of Mercury. Ooh. This is so beautiful. It looks like, you know, uh, some firecrackers are burning on Mercury. Isn't it a beautiful planet? Yes. Very, very lightning. Very, very beautiful. Ooh, okay. So this was, kids, Mercury for you. Now, if I want to see um, something interesting, kids, then, uh, you know, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. We all saw Yes. So Mercury is very, very hot. Okay. It's the closest planet to the sun. Okay. And, uh, uh, but an amazing part is that though it is closest to the sun, it is not the hottest. It is not the hottest. 
Mercury also has ice on it. Mercury planet also has ice on it, and but there is no life on it. Okay, kids. So Mercury closest to the sun. Okay, but it is not the hottest, right? And uh, there is still, uh, you know, ice on Mercury. Okay, so we saw Mercury, which is the number one planet closest to the sun. Okay, now the next one. Okay, the next one is Venus. Okay, the next one is Venus. Okay, now let's quickly have a look at what does the Venus look like. I'll show you all, and I'll tell you something really, really amazing fact about Venus. Okay, where is Venus gone? Yes. So Venus is also said to be like a white planet. You know, it's also called a white planet see here wow how soothing you know this look all these planets look like playing balls kids yes they all look like playing balls so you know what if you have a lot of balls at home you can make your own solar system you can all do that we will discuss that in the end of the class okay so this is venus for you all did you all see venus okay now if I may talk about kids, Venus, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Okay, so Mercury being the closest to the sun, it is not the hottest. Don't get confused. So after Mercury comes Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Is it clear to you all? Yes. Are you sure? Hundred percent. Okay. Now we saw that me um okay so just like Earth has a moon okay all planets have some moon or no moon so both Mercury and Venus they have no moons okay they have zero moons okay they have zero moons okay but next we'll study some planets which have lot of moons okay so we know which is the hottest planet it is the Venus very very good. Now, after Mercury, Venus comes our favorite planet, and I'll not tell you the name. I think you will see the picture and understand what I'm talking about. Woo! Okay, which planet is this, kids? Very, very good. Okay, I'm sure we can see some continents here. We can also see the moon at the back. So this is our. Earth, yes, kids. This is our Earth. This is the planet. Yes, that's what I was waiting to see the answer. This is the planet which has life on it. This is the planet which has water. This is the planet which has air. This is the planet which has all suitable conditions for the humans to live on this planet since times immemorable. Yes, kids. Earth is has the best atmosphere. It has all the best, uh, you know, all the things which are needed for the survival of the humans, for the survival of the plants, the animals. Yes. So we all live on Earth. And how many moons does Earth have? One moon, kids. Okay. Earth has one moon. So we did three planets. We saw Mercury. Okay. The second one is Venus. Venus is hottest planet. Venus is the hottest planet. And number three is our planet, which is Earth. Means the only planet which has life on it. Okay, the only planet which has life on it. Okay, now, um, kids, if I may talk about, you know, so basically, uh. All the planets, you know, they revolve around the sun. We talked about this, right? So going from the closest to the farthest, obviously we know Mercury is the closest to the sun, and the second number comes Venus, and third closest is yes, it's our planet, which is Earth. So Earth is the third closest planet to the sun. Okay, all right, all right. Now. If I may talk about the next one, so after Mercury, Venus, Earth comes the next planet. 
which is the next planet? Any guesses? Anyone? Yes. Whoa, we can see this red giant ball. Which planet is this, kids? Yes, it is the, it is the, very good. This is Mars. This is Mars, kids. So Mars is also called the color. It's also called the red planet. Very, very good. Very good. Good answer. Okay, kids. So Mars is also called the red planet because of its color. Now, you know what, kids? We have to understand something very important about Mars, okay? So, after Earth, there is only one planet right now which might have some conditions because of which humans can actually go and live on that planet. Yes, and that is none other than Mars. Yes, kids, that is none other than Mars. So there are, you know, a lot of missions which are being sent from different countries to this planet Mars, wherein, you know, the astronauts and the space people are going and trying to understand if there are all possible conditions because water was found on Mars. Yes. So uh, there is also atmosphere on Mars. So they are also trying to understand that what are the conditions that are actually uh, you know, available on Mars so that in case humans want to go and live on Mars, they can. Wow, would it be great? Imagine someone saying, oh, we are going on a holiday to Mars. And you'll be like, really? We are going on a holiday to Mars? How many of you would want to go on a holiday to Mars? Yes, everyone would, right? Great, amazing. Okay, but you know what? Uh, there is, it's not very, very far that you, we might find some amazing conditions that would be available on, um, you know, Mars and we might be able to live on that planet, okay? Now, Mars, kids, is the closest planet to Earth. It's, it's, its size is a little smaller to Earth, so it's uh, very, very close to, uh, you know, looking like Earth. And why it is called a red planet? Because the rocks on the uh, Mars are of red color, okay? So it has red rocks. That's why it's called Mars, okay? So we did Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, okay? And after this comes another wonderful planet. Now, here you go. Now, we have some really interesting things about this planet, kids. Are you all excited? Should I tell you? Oh, okay. Now, my first, let me tell you some amazing things about this planet, and then we'll see a picture, okay? My next planet in the row is Jupiter. It is Jupiter. Now, Jupiter, kids, is the biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system okay it is made of gases and it is so big okay it's so big that we can actually fit around thousand planets so if we make if we like add thousand planets one big jupiter will be formed imagine how big is jupiter can we all do like <gasps> yes are we all shocked Yes, so Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system, kids. And uh, you know what? Uh, of course, it's much, much more bigger than Earth, okay? Uh, but one interesting fact about Jupiter. Now, let's ha have a picture of Jupiter first. Then I'll tell you something amazing about Jupiter. And again, you will be like, oh, really, ma'am? Oh my God, look at the size of this planet. This is a huge one. We are seeing the biggest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Now, I told you I'll be telling you an amazing, fascinating fact, okay? So, Jupiter is the biggest planet, which is okay. Earth has one moon, okay? Jupiter also has some moons, but how many? One? Uh, no, 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 no. Three? No, 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 no. And any more guesses? 10. No, 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 no. 
Jupiter has 66 moons. Oh my God. Kids, Jupiter has 66 moons. Now that is crazy fact. Yes, everyone agree with me? Put your hands up and say, yes, ma'am. Right? Jupiter has 66 moons. Now that is absolutely crazy, right? So we have so many facts about Jupiter. So Jupiter is the biggest planet, okay? And you know, it, it is almost equivalent to thousand planets put in together. And now it has 66 moons. My goodness, can you all even imagine how crazy it is, right? Okay, so we studied about some planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, all right? And out of which we knew, I'll just revise it. So Venus is the hottest planet and Mercury is the closest and smallest, smallest, okay? Mercury is closest planet to the sun, okay? Smallest planet, okay? Mostly made up of rocks, okay? Venus is also the hottest planet, okay? Same size as of the Earth. Then we have Earth, of course, where we live, okay? Mars, again, same size as that of the Earth, but a red planet, okay? Because it has red rocks, right? Jupiter, biggest planet, right? And 66 moons, my God, 66 moons, okay? So we studied about these five planets. Now, three left. Let us have a look at our next planet in the row, which again has some unique feature. Now you will say, oh, ma'am, this looks very different than the other planets. Let's see if you find the difference, okay? All right. Oh, okay. This looks like a spaceship. Yes, it does look like a spaceship, everyone. Okay. Which planet is this? Very good. Very, very good. I'm getting the guesses already and your guess is absolutely right. This is Saturn. This is which planet? Saturn. Now, what is different on this planet, kids? Yes, this has rings around it. Can we see these rings around Saturn? So this is the planet in the center and these are the rings around. Now kids, these rings are made up of a lot of gases, dust and rocks. Okay, now this is something which makes Saturn a very unique planet. Okay because it has proper rings around it, okay? And these rings were first observed in 1610 by Galileo, okay? Galileo with a telescope, okay? He found that there are rings around Saturn, okay? So Saturn now, kids, is also the second largest planet. So which is the largest one? Jupiter, okay? And Saturn is the second largest planet okay wonderful so we saw this amazing unique thing about saturn which is little rings around it very very good my dear kids okay amazing okay now so we have done how many mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn good we have done till saturn so Six planets. Now, two left, okay? Two left. Now, can anybody tell me which is the next one in the row? Which is the next planet in the row? Now, you know what, kids? I love one thing about this planet, and that is its color. I really, really love the color. Wow, this is so soothing. You know, it's like a very, very calm color. Now, this is our second last planet of the solar system, which is Uranus. Which planet is this, kids? Uranus. U-R-A-N-U-S. Isn't it a beautiful planet? Yes. 
This looks like a ball of white chocolate, like a light blue chocolate, actually. <laughs> right? Okay. So this is Uranus for you all. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to tell you something interesting about Uranus, first of all, it is, as you know, if I count planets from the sun, it's the second last farthest planet, right? So Uranus is also a gas giant. It is made up of a lot of gases, okay? And uh, it is, it comes, uh, it's like the seventh planet. So seventh farthest to the sun, okay? So this is Uranus and it is also a very big planet. Like you can actually fit uh, 63 Earths inside Uranus. So that is also huge. Of course, Jupiter is extremely huge, but uh, Uranus is also big, okay? And uh, it takes about 84 years to, you know, uh, complete the orbit of the sun. Like Earth takes one year to complete the orbit of the sun. Yes, but Uranus takes 84 years. My goodness, that is amazing right okay now one amazing feature about uranus a fact is it is the coldest planet kids okay it is the coldest planet of the solar system okay so which one was the hottest it is mercury okay it is mercury now let's revise these points which is the which is the hottest mercury which is the coldest uranus very good uranus okay which is the largest like the big huge planet very good it's jupiter amazing 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 which planet has only life on it only planet to have life on it earth very very good and uh okay which is the smallest planet smallest smallest and it is also the closest to the sun anyone brilliant mercury it's mercury amazing and the red one is Mars. Awesome. 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 Okay. Very, very good kids. Okay. So now kids, let me show you quickly the last planet of the solar system. Okay. The last planet, which we call the Neptune. Yes, that is the last planet. This is Neptune. Very, very good. Okay. So so, N E P T U N E, Neptune. Thumbs up. Yes, this is Neptune. Okay, kids, kids, the last planet in the solar system and the farthest planet from the sun. Yes, this is the farthest planet from the sun. Okay, now. We have studied all the eight planets, okay? Let us quickly have a look at them together, okay? So, uh, I will show you this picture. Now, oh, okay, I like this picture. This one, okay? Now, I like this picture. So, these are like all planets together. Oh, I like it. Yes? All right. So, starting from here, Mercury. Then we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They have also shown this ninth planet here, which does not exist, okay? We called it Pluto. We called it Pluto. So Pluto was the ninth planet, but it does not exist now. Okay. It does not exist now. Pluto is the ninth. It was the ninth planet, but now we only have eight planets. Yes, kids. Very, very good. Okay. Now we have done all the eight planets. Okay. But I have small model of earth for you, right? Kids, I have a small model of earth. Should I show it to you? One, two, three. Yes, kids, can we all see? This is what something, what the earth looks like. Yes, a lot of water. There's a lot of, there are a lot of continents, lands. Yes, this is what something the earth looks like. 
yes and similarly we have other planets too okay we have other planets too which look like in different colors and in different things okay now kids we have studied in great details about the different planets we also know the jupiter has 66 moons just like you know so uh, you know kids uh, one thing important that i wanted to tell you is now out of these eight okay we have to divide it into two categories okay the first four last four okay so which are the first four planets mercury venus earth mars okay now kids these planets are called rocky planets what are they called rocky planets repeat once again they are called rocky planets because these are made up of rocks okay and the last four yes last last four come on everyone so mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune okay now the last four these are called these are called gas planets okay so rocky planets and gas planets because the last four planets are mostly made up of lot of gases okay very very good all right kids so we studied about the eight planets okay and we studied about the different what are these planets called okay and we studied about uh, we had a look at the solar system okay let me once again show you the solar system let's have a look at the planets once again and then we will uh, talk about some questions i'll ask some questions to all of you Woo! okay now let's have a look at this so what is this in the center this is the sun okay and these are different planets which are revolving around the sun on these white lines can you see these these are called orbits okay these are called orbits okay now let's have a play look at the placing so this is mercury which is the smallest and closest to the sun we have venus which is the hottest okay and very very similar in size to earth then we have earth the only planet to planet to have life then we have mars the red planet okay mercury venus earth mars then we have jupiter the big planet the planet with 66 moons right okay then we have saturn the planet with rings around it the planet which has rings around it okay after that comes uranus now kids now here uranus also has little rings around it the reason is there are some gases which again revolve around the uh you know uranus okay so that's what is it shows a little kind of ring but they are not as prominent as saturn okay so it is only saturn which we call it as the planet with rings around it okay and the last one is neptune the last is neptune which is the farthest from the sun okay very very good now is everyone ready prepared for some questions to come yes everyone is okay i am also all set to ask you some questions okay now i'll ask you easy ones okay each question will have uh, three options yeah okay kids so let's answer some questions okay now my first question for all of you are you all ready okay keep your eyes and ears open think and answer my questions okay now the first one and a very easy one which planet is called the red planet which planet is called the red planet a earth b venus c mars woo your times already started everyone come on punch in your answers 
you can send me answers through your chat boxes which planet is called the red planet is it a earth is it b venus or is it c mars i know everyone knows the answer people are already giving me correct answers very very good this is absolutely commendable wow you are so intelligent people you you already take everything in your head very good kids yes half time already gone we have only 15 seconds left which planet is called the red planet a earth b venus or c mars very good very very good everyone brilliant attempt the answer is c mars yes kids so it is mars which is called the red planet and why it is called red planet because it has red rocks on it yes very very good very good i'm really happy everyone's doing good stretch yourself stretch and relax okay all right now comes my second question for all of you are you all ready are you all ready for the second question okay next one which is the planet after earth which might have life on it i told you right which is the planet after earth which might have life on it is it a venus is it b mars or is it c jupiter come on everyone keep guessing and keep thinking what did ma'am tell us which is the planet after earth which might have life on it i asked you do you guys want to go on a holiday to this planet yes is it a venus b mars or c jupiter very good everybody is already giving me correct answers very good very good keep punching everyone keep answering you guys are doing brilliant awesome awesome yes very good kids very good all of you have given me amazing answer the answer is b mars again okay so it is mars which might have life on it and we might go on a holiday to mars yes brilliant awesome so are you liking the questions it's fun right okay so i'll ask you two more questions okay two more questions everyone so easy which is the largest planet in the solar system which is the largest planet in the solar system is it a earth b jupiter or c neptune so which is the largest planet in the solar system is it a earth b jupiter c neptune come on everyone logic brains give me a logical answer everyone which is the largest planet in the solar system come on come on is it a earth b jupiter c neptune we told it it looks like a thousand planets together come on everyone we'll, come on come on very less time left awesome it's b jupiter very very good i'm absolutely amazing very good your brains are fabulous yes very good my little brainy brainy kids yes the largest planet in the solar system is jupiter amazing i'm proud of you all and with that i'll ask you the last question for today's session yes kids i'll ask you the last question okay now everyone is ready show me a thumbs up good very good okay which planet has rings around it see i asked you i'll ask you a simple one okay which planet has rings around it is it a uranus b saturn or c neptune which planet has rings around it is it a uranus b earth c nep 
Neptune. Oh, sorry. Is it A, Uranus, B, Saturn, or C, Neptune? I have gone crazy. <laughs> yes, come on. Which planet has rings around it? Is it A, Uranus, B, Saturn, or C, Neptune? Last question, everyone. Give me a 100% correct answer, which you guys are already giving me. Very good, very good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Awesome, awesome. You guys are going great, great. Come on. Very good, very good. Few more seconds left, little kids. Awesome, awesome. Very good answer. Which planet has rings around it? It is? Saturn! Saturn is the correct answer, kids. It is B, Saturn. Wow, my little brainy ones. You guys have done an amazing job. Come on, everyone. Clap for yourself. Give a round, round of applause for yourself. Very, very good. This is absolutely commendable. You know, your little brains can store so much information. You all can see. Just in one class, kids, we learn so much, right? And you all store it and you all give me wonderful answers, which is absolutely amazing. Okay? All right, kids. With that, we come to an end of this session. But as I always say, yes, before I say goodbye, I want to say I love having these sessions with you because you guys make me learn more and bring more and more information for you all. Yes, and always remember knowledge is all around you, right? So keep looking for it. Take very, very good care of yourself, kids. Sleep well, eat well, stay with your parents, do your hobbies, dance, sing, play, paint, do whatever you want to. But first and foremost, your health is most important. Yes, everyone? Okay. Keep washing your hands, okay? Keep sanitizing them. Lots of love to all of you and I promise to see you once again in your favorite. Yellow classes, general knowledge with Mirama. Till then, bye everyone, bye.